right, look at this. Mm -hmm. Take a gander. This is a MAC paint pot. It's Babe in Charms. I gotta get that on my eyeball. I gotta, I gotta get that on my eye. Okay, so I think we'll just do like a shadow wing kind of vibe. We're gonna need an E27. By the way, just about every makeup tutorial I have been looking at recently involves one of these brushes. And when I tell you, I start squealing. I start squealing like Gene wanting his food. I'm gonna go right into the paint pot. I'm gonna pick it up on both sides. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start to map this out. I'm not even gonna use primer because this dries down completely. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. And then I'm gonna flip it over. That way I have more product on the other side to keep this going. Look how quick we just did a shadow wing. I'm not sure what I want to do here on my lash line yet. Um, I don't think I want to do a classic black liner, but I know I want to do something for depth on the lash line. So you'll notice that I'm going to leave that bare. It's going to be easier to go over it. I'm not going to like the name of this pigment. It's called Bed Bug. But you know what? It's got some bug vibes to it. It's a green to red flip. And what we're going to do, I'm feeling a little spicy, mild spicy. I'm going to take a little bit of the pigment, just that much, and a little bit of this Max, MAC Mixing Medium. I have been using this one, and this one in particular, and I really, really like it. So I'm just going to do a little dot there. It's running away. And now I need an E26, which I have. Mix them together. And we're going to apply this to our lash line and it's just going to be a little bit darker I feel like a black lash line would have just taken this to places we've been before that's a good way to put it but this just kind of deepens our lash line but stays in the same kind of color family is so pretty so i'm also going to extend it still using the e26 just kind of start to pull it that way and since this isn't black it's going to be a lot more forgiving so something like this would be a really good color to practice your inner corner a lot of times black shows everything um, but you can still get really good practice with other colors so since we didn't apply any kind of primer um, I've got a little bit of veins showing through here, which I don't mind, but if you do, take your powder foundation and just tap it where you can see the veins or any kind of discoloration. Just kind of smooths it out. I do have this wrinkle here, and smoothing a little bit of powder foundation on that helps too. There we go. By the way, I still have this on my hand. We're gonna come back to it. Um, that mixing medium should be, it should be good because it's pretty thick in certain areas so it won't dry. So I'm really into these Ardell 420s at the moment. because I've been doing a little bit more spicy eye looks and I feel like they don't hide all of the fancy work that I've done. Also, really digging these tweezers here. Um, these are from House of Lashes. I'm grabbing this Pat McGrath pink pigment here. Um, I believe this still comes in the trio. I don't think it comes in the singles anymore. And I'm going to put that on my inner corner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we'll do a pink brow bone. And then we'll come back later and I might connect it and then do a pink highlight. And then I can't even speak correctly because I'm too excited for my pink highlight. Yesterday was retinol night and I tried a new retinol and it's working. But my cheeks are real, real spicy red. So y'all are gonna see some green color correcting. Y'all ready? I almost didn't do my makeup today because of the redness. And also that might look like a lot, but the way I'm about to blend it out, it's gonna, it's gonna change your mind a little bit on that. I'm actually gonna grab an E28 brush and just kind of start buffing it in. Now, I want you to notice, I don't want it to be wildly green 
but we do still need that green to be there. So we don't want to buff it away, but we also don't need it to look like for the Grinch. See, it's already going to take that down. Much better. And really quickly, um, I do want to mention, as you can probably see, the E29 is not only fantastic for eyeshadow, but it's also really good for complexion products. All of the brushes are multi-use. Okay, so we're going to go with this Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I haven't used this in a while. This is the shade P40. Um, that looks like a clean spot. Clean enough. Put that a little bit right there, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it over that and start to work it in. I remember really loving this foundation, but, I mean, my job is to always try the new stuff and teach y'all the best ways to use it. So a lot of times I forget about them. And, oh, here's a major tip. Get ready for it. Okay, when you have a color corrector underneath your foundation or concealer, you have to. You can't even for a second swipe. You have to have to press or you're gonna move that and really mix it into your foundation and then you will be green or orange or whatever color your color corrector is. So right now, pressing up and down just like this and just bouncing this brush back and forth is the key. We're gonna hop in now start our concealer remember to work in sections when you're using the Jaclyn concealer um, I do love it but working in sections is the best option and also a little bit goes a very long way really work that in go ahead and set my under eye and the center of my face I'm using my Givenchy today bronze but I am gonna hop off after I bronze and I'm gonna go film something about blush and I'm actually gonna use a very tiny amount of bronzer <laughs> I can't be trusted and I'm gonna press that here on the high points of the face where the Sun naturally hits and if you'll ever notice I don't contour with bronzing so I'm not gonna put it there we're just kind of gonna put it right above and ever so lightly just press it in. I feel like that's gonna be enough. Bring it down the neck. You can see that natural contour there and just a little bit above. Mm -hmm. So now I'm back into the mixture here on my hand with the E26 and I'm just gonna connect this let me zoom you in. Get in here. Let me hold that a little further back. It's always our first instinct. I live on a racetrack. But that's always our first instinct. When we need control, we feel that we need to hold it like this. We actually have more control when we hold it further back. And I'm just going to connect it. So now I'm grabbing this lip liner, new lip liner from ABH. This is in the shade Deep Taupe and I really like this shade. It's really pretty. Super pretty. And then I'm going to grab this lip color and I'm going to add just a dot to the center. This is the Sephora lip cream. It's in the shade 73. Just double checking that. And then I'm just going to tap this. This is probably one of my new favorite lip colors. I just think it's so bright and nude. But it's so pretty. Look how pretty. I love it. And we're done. Like I said, I don't have blush on because I'm going to go film. Um, I'm going to film kind of how to use this one. This is a little tricky blush. And then I'm also going to film with a powder blush. So I have already set this side and I didn't set this side. So I'm super excited. Let me go film that. I will be posting that this evening. Um, I love you all so much, and we'll see you in the comments tonight.